Let's take a look at fractions on a T83 calculator. Let's take a look at our first problem. We want to simplify 40 over 72. So I do 40 divided by 72, and then I'll push my enter. Now when you come up with a decimal, then you want to push your math button right here, and enter, enter. So you press enter twice. And that would be our answer. Now our next problem. Clear that page. We'll do 1 divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27. And push enter. We get a decimal. So then I'm going to do my math. And then enter, enter. And that gives us our answer. Now subtraction. I'm going to have 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 3 and push enter. We get our decimal. So again, we do math, enter, enter. And that gives us 1 15th. Now multiplication. Okay, I'm going to do 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7, and push enter, we get a decimal, and then I'll do math, enter, enter. And that's our answer. Division. Now this one's a little bit different. In general, anytime you're dividing fractions and you're putting it into any kind of calculator, the trick to it is to put parentheses around each fraction. So, I'm going to do a beginning parentheses, 20 divided by 27, closing parentheses, and then divided by, beginning parentheses, 10 divided by 18, closing parentheses, and then push enter, and yet again we get a decimal, so we'll do math, enter, enter, and that gives us 4 thirds. And one last one. This is a complex fraction. So I'll put parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 3, plus 1 divided by 5, closing parentheses, divided by beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 7, minus 2, closing parentheses. And then push enter, and we get a decimal, so we'll do math, enter, enter. And that would be our answer. And that's fractions on a T83 calculator.